Welcome to the complimentary, where I talk about something I love for a while, completely extemporaneously, and I already don't know uh, how to speak. And today I'm going to talk about, you've probably heard of Scott Pilgrim, I'm going to talk about the comic, not the movie. I have seen the movie, but I fell in love with Scott Pilgrim through the comic. That's my primary adoration of this series, and it's tough, because I think most people have come to, come to Scott Pilgrim through the movie, and... Um, the comic is a very different thing. It's the, the, the movie is a, a, a very impressive adaptation, but it's not the comic. Um, partly because the comic has very much its own style. I mean, this is more, I mean, it's very manga inspired. Um, I actually really, really like the art style. Um, it is its own thing, though. It is very visually distinctive. It is very thoughtfully arranged. And that's what I love about Scott Pilgrim, one of the things. This isn't just someone trying to copy the manga style. Nor is it someone trying to just do something that is... Um, um, one, of the, mm, one of my frustrations with indie comics is sometimes they are indie for the sake of indie. right? They are bizarrely different, more or less for the sake of being bizarrely different. Uh, Scott Pilgrim, and well, specifically Brian Lee O'Malley takes what works from a particular style and uses that. He has clearly learned from these style and styles and uses those in this. And I think this is a great example, where this is a classic manga pose that you're not going to see in a typical American comic because it is this hero pose. It is not, um, it's not over-the-top superheroic pose. It's not, you know, going off, whatever. It is a normal piece per person looking intense and heroic. Um, you know, it's one of the things I really like about this is that it feels like the tone, if you will, of the approach to manga. And there's a video game, you're absolutely right. Um, and what's interesting about Scott Pilgrim, one of the things, is how it is... It starts as a very normal story of a guy doing things, and then it gets progressively more absurd. And you've seen this in the movie. But it... In a lot of ways, it works much more naturally in the comic because there's no CGI, right? Everything is comic, so it all feels all of made of one whole cloth, if you will. And so all of those elements really fit together extremely well, despite the fact that they are intentionally different. One of the things I love about it is that this whole the whole video game thing in there doesn't really fit his life. He's not really leveling up. He's not, you know, he is maturing over the course of the story. Um, but it is, you, you very much get the sense that, that, Scott, that uh, Scott is using these metaphors to try to make sense of what's going on, but they don't fit very well. And that's what makes, one of the things that makes it so interesting is all these visuals, all these elements interacting with each other, and you're trying to make sense of them. You're trying to understand why they are happening and how they relate. Um, the movie does a great job of adapting the story, but leaves out some of my, at least one of my favorite scenes. Um, one in particular is, is sticking in my head right now, which just doesn't fit into, the, you know, you just can't put everything in the, in the movie, and I understand why it's not there. Um, but there is a lot in the, I mean, it's, it's six volumes. There's a lot of Scott Pilgrim there um, that is, is worth digging into. I also appreciate it because it's about a bunch of young adults, you know, hanging out. And it's very easy in those for the characters to feel samey samey or to feel dramatically different um you know wildly different to the point of why would these people hang out together wonderful uh balancing act here where these characters all feel very distinctive but not um um not in a way that makes you question the structure of it it feels very well thought out in terms of all those things um now, obviously, the art style is a thing, and it is something that I know turns a lot of people off. They just don't really like, you know, this kind of art style, and I totally get that. Um, but for me, it's the kind of thing that you get used to, frankly, and I think does work rather well in general. Um, once you get used to it, it is varied. Another thing I appreciate is that he doesn't choose one art style, if you will, and uses that everywhere. He starts with a, this is focusing, 
and maybe it'll find me now. Hello. Um, we'll just have to wait for the camera to figure me out. And that's the thing, is you have, there we go, um, depending on the angle, you get different art styles. Depending on the, the scene, you get, different, you, you get different, 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 well, you get variations on the art style. It doesn't suddenly become wildly different. But he really knows when he needs thinner lines, when he needs less of an eye, when he needs more of an eye, how to, how to handle his art. This is a mature art style, and it gets um, more mature and nailed down the more he draws it. Uh, you can tell he's, 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 he's thought through how to represent his characters with this, uh, even starting in, in page one of volume one. I also appreciate it for something we were talking about in the chat room earlier. It comes to an ending that feels satisfying. Um, it ends in a way that feels right, and it's different from the movie ending, by the way, uh, in certain key respects. And it's one of the things that I think really impresses me, is you have this, again, fairly long six-volume story. That's a lot of pages to do. And the ending works. Um, it all comes together in a way that feels not just appropriate for this storyline, but also for the characters. Also for who the people are and where they've gotten to as people. Something I really appreciate. Um, so, Scott Pilgrim really impressed the heck out of me. As somebody who reads a lot of comics, um, uh, more Japanese than American, granted, but a fair number of, of American comics, I am quite... Yeah, I, I'm quite enamored of Scott Pilgrim, and it's the kind of thing where I, I started reading Volume 1, and I was like, yep, I'm going to read this all the way through. However many volumes there are, I'm going to finish it. Um, so yeah, really impressive work of comic art, and I think it is uh, definitely uh, worth a glance.